Welcome everyone, this is Jimmy's Corner and I'm your host, Jimmy. This channel is all about how-to videos on things that should be easy but are sometimes hard. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Let's go have some fun. And always remember, the world is yours. It's yours. Hey, so today I want to talk to you about how to use Comixology. So let's get started. Download it onto one of your devices and let's open it up. So when you open it up, you have the main screen, the discovery page. Here's where they're going to offer you options of what to check out and to sign up for their new Comixology Unlimited. Basically, it's a subscription that you pay and you have unlimited access to all their comics that they have. Seems like the Wi-Fi is not loading right away, but you can see some of the suggestions that they give you down here. A really good one to start reading is Invincible. And they give you some stuff to check out, gives you a summary, gives you the ratings, and as you can see, it's in HD. So it's great if you're reading it on any one of your devices that supports the HD display. I prefer to read mine on the iPad mini, I think it's perfect, but you can go bigger and get great screen quality. One thing that I will say is I was hesitant on using Comixology for a while because originally they had in-app purchases, but because Amazon had bought them, they got rid of that feature. But I came around because at the end of the day, this was the easiest way to read comics, and I'll explain why. It has a search feature, so you can look up your comics. It has the smart list, so you can see your comics in progress, recently downloaded, just in case if you forgot what you were last reading, or you know, what you last purchased, you can all, you look all that up here. Now this is just on my device. Now if I switch it to what's on the cloud, this is all the comics I have on the cloud. Now if I go to my books, they give you two options to look at your books. You go to the book view, or you can go into the series view. I like going to the series view, because that's how I read by series. I'll go back into the Batman I was reading, and see I left off on issue 21 of Batman. I'll open that up, and it brings me to the page I left off on. I can also go to the page browser, start at the beginning again, and simply swipe through. And it's a seamless process. It also has what they call guided viewing technology. So it lets you view panel by panel. And it reads it in order for you. If some of you have seen my videos, you've seen the one I said on how to read comics. This makes it a lot easier so you don't get jumbled up on zigzag, 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 zigzag. So that's one another reason why I like reading them on Comixology. Now it has settings, so you can change how you look at it, you can change the width of the page, you can have two pages shown at the same time, like you're reading an actual comic book, you could change the animated transition, the lettering boxes, and you could change how you enter and exit a page. So you can enter the page in full screen like it is now, and then it can go into the guided view like that, or you can enter the page in guided view, and then switch at the exit to full page to see everything you just read. And it gives you the option to see the information about the book and view the series, which it'll keep you in the app and see what else to read. And you can simply add things to your wish list. So when you go over to the website to download them, you don't have to go searching again. You just go to your wish list and add them to your cart and check out. And it's simple as that to use the app. So we'll shift over to the website and you'll see it's very seamless to use. They make it very easy for you. I like it because they always have comics on sale and that's the main part I use this for is to get the comics on sale instead of paying full price. You can get a lot. Look, they have a Green Lantern sale going on right now. They have an image sale going on. And then they have other, you know, comics that they, if you're interested in for new readers, for, you know, award winners, for, you know, your graphic novels, what they offer on the Unlimited, the latest of the week, and what's only on digital first. So it's either they're only digital comics that come out or they come out to digital first and then they're in a brick and mortar hard copy. And you see they have just added and recently reduced and the top 40 bestseller. So it has a lot of good information and keeps you up to date on reading your comics. The main reason I use the app is because as some of you who've been reading comics a long time and you're used to that brick and mortar life, you'll understand that you can amass a great deal of comics. Now if we go back to my books, 
We'll see. I've amassed a collection on here of 2,804 comic books. Now, if you can imagine that in physical form, you'll see that that's a lot of comics and it takes up a lot of space. So instead, I have all those comic books right here. This is the space it takes up. Simple as that, this is where I read all my comic books. And that's a quick how-to, use Comixology. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time here at Jimmy's Corner. Peace.